Welcome back to the 11th race of the 2017 NASCAR 50 Series. A battle for 13th, now with four laps to go here in the Hotel Courts 200. These drivers have been going at it for many, many laps. Jason Hathaway, great to see him back with the series. J.F. Dumoulin, Spectre Premium on board the 04 car. They're not quite having the results they had hoped for, Dave, but they really have shown improvement throughout the season. Yeah, they really have, and they've been fairly racy here today. The Spectre of Premium 04, little smoke out of the back end of that car. I think that was just tires as he got hard on the gas in turn number two and slid the back end because he got a great run into three and picked up the spot. An impressive pass on the three of Jason Hathaway. Let's ride on board with Jason. Former winner here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park running a part-time schedule. And look at here, the 47 of L.B. Dumoulin has passed the race leader, picking up his lap, and he's managed to get around the 32 of Alex LeBay. LeBay is now sitting in sixth spot and is in jeopardy of going a lap down. He is also in jeopardy of Kevin LaCroix closing the gap and possibly cashing in on some of the threats we've heard over social media the last two weeks, Dave. Four car lengths to catch the Can Am Ford Fusion of Alex LeBay, but we should mention too that both Alex Tagliani and the 27 of Andrew Ranger are about a second faster than Kevin Lacroix. Yeah, they're faster than Lacroix right now. They have no hope of catching him unless Kevin Lacroix has a problem. As we're three laps to go, it'll be two laps when we reach the strike, and they are a long way back from the lead. Kevin Lacroix knows it. He knows how big the gap he has back to Tagliani and Andrew Ranger. He didn't push it into turn number eight to try and make that pass on the 32. And I have a feeling Lacroix, it would be wise of him to stay right where he is. You know, don't, don't poke the bear. Really, he is the bear. I think that he is the more aggressive by nature. But don't get into a situation that could, could cost you to tarnish a day that has gone just about perfectly. Well, that's Don Thompson Jr.'s influence. Reining him in, keeping him in check. Don Thompson Jr. all season long on the radio has been saying, remember the big picture. We're in this for the championship hunt. And Kevin Lacroix stands to gain a lot of championship ground in this race. Alex Tagliani in the second position. But a long way back from the race leader, Kevin Lacroix. He's managed to separate himself from the 27 Mopar Dodge of Andrew Ranger, though. And sadly, Anthony Simone's bid for a podium. Unless somebody in the top three has a problem, it doesn't look good for Simone. Hey, a top five doing what he did here today would still be a great run for the innovative plumbing crew. Now that's not the audio. That's Kevin Lacroix. He might be saving fuel. He might be not wanting to close in on LeBay. Could be a little of both. Well, you can see Tagliani is now better than a second quicker than your race leader, Anthony Simone, about five seconds a lap slower than these top three cars. So the, the treaded tires have pretty much given up the ghost in the 95. I can't believe they've lasted this long. He could be looking at a blown tire here. That's a different storyline altogether. It's Kevin Lacroix has taken the white flag. One more lap to go. He's through turn number one, just nine more turns, and he will complete his perfect run here in the Totel Quartz 200. Sponsored by Totel Lubricants is the 74, and there's a good look at the Lowe's EpiPen Dodge. Alex Tagliani, he's still hard on the gas trying to make things happen. Running behind the 59 of Gary Clute, that's not for position whatsoever. Tagliani is second. Clute is locked by the leaders. And look at the ticker on the top of your screen. More than 27 seconds, the gap between Lacroix and Tagliani in second spot. And look at where the 32 of Alex LeBay is in sixth position. Came in as your points leader. Stands to lose a lot of those points to Kevin Lacroix. He will still be leading after this race, but Kevin Lacroix, if he can hang on for the win, will gain a lot of valuable points. There's a look at the Mopar 27 of Andrew Ranger. He's hanging on to the third spot. Not a bad run for Andrew Ranger, but you almost expect to see more out of that driver at a track like Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Something like Kevin Lacroix has done all day, which is not put a foot wrong. He won practice. He won qualifying. He's going to exit turn number 10, and Kevin Lacroix is going to win the race. The Total Quartz 200 to Kevin Lacroix. His fourth win of the 2017 season, Kevin Lacroix takes the checkered flag here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We have to wait for Alex Dagliani to come through
in second. There he is just now entering turn number eight. Tagliani up through turn nine. He'll try to navigate turn 10 right behind Gary Clute. He did not make that pass. As we said, it really didn't mean anything. Alex Tagliani will hold on for a second place run in the 18 car. And Andrew Ranger in the 27 is holding down third as he continues to make his way to the stripe. But there is your race winner. He's been so good, so dominant all weekend long in the 74. And Kevin Lacroix did what he needed to do here this weekend. Let's go down to Todd in pit lane. Todd. Here's the winning crew chief, Don Thompson Jr. You guys did exactly what you needed this weekend. Fast all weekend and another victory. Yeah, you know, you can't do it without a crew. I got to thank the bumper to bumper crew. Great job all weekend. And uh, I'd also like to thank Total. Great lubricant in our racing motors. And uh, hey, what can we say? We got another one. Don Thompson Jr. will join his driver in victory lane. We'll hear from Kevin Lacroix after this. Kevin Lacroix getting a push from some of his crew members, the rest of his crew standing by here in victory lane, we'll and he's earned this celebration. Game. He left no doubt, Dave. He won practice. He won qualifying. He won the race. He doesn't even look like he's worn out in the least. That had to be a grueling run for him. I don't even think he broke his sweat. Big smile on his face, though, and Todd's waiting there as he hops out. Kevin Lacroix climbs out. Waves that checkered flag in the air to celebrate a victory. Once again, here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, getting congratulations from the team. Kiss from his wife, Joni. For the third straight time, he is a winner here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. This was a business-like win by you and the whole team this weekend. You were fast. You went out there and did what you had to do today. Yeah, like you say, we were fast all weekend with the trap record in qualifying and just uh, in the race, uh, you know, it was also quick in the rain, just like earlier this, uh, this year. So uh, quick all the time here. I love this track, so it pays out today. Three straight wins here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Fourth of the year for Kevin Lacroix. Well, Alex, a second place finish in a hard-fought day here on the road course. Started in the wet, finished in the sun. Tell us about your afternoon. Yeah, the team did a great job. Obviously, uh, the 22 racing guys, uh, EpiPen, Lowe's, Spectra Premium, all our sponsors, uh, you know, like we really thank them for their support. It was, uh, it was an interesting race. I mean, I don't think we had the car in the wet. Uh, Kevin really strong in the wet. And um, he walked away, took a big lead. We tried to stay longer on, uh, on the wets and look at the lap time when people were putting in dries. But I was so surprised that the dry were so quick on lap one and, and we lost again at that exchange and then we can never catch him. So, uh, but nevertheless, I mean, the guys did a good job and uh, you know, good job to him. I mean, he had a really strong car today. Second place for Alex Taglani. Solid finish here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Very much so, and we'll take a look at the top 20 finishers. Some surprises here. We talked about the 95 of Anthony Simone finishing inside the top five. Yeah, that's happy news for sure. Gary Clute finishing eighth, DJ Kennington ninth. They're going to be in the truck race today. Adam Andretti with the top 10. You see Caden Lapsovich salvaging an 11th place finish here today. A little disappointing for J.F. Dumoulin in 14th. Larry Jackson coming home in 17th spot. Todd standing by with the driver of the 27. With third place finisher Andrew Ranger, pretty wild day. Started out wet, then it got dry. You were hard charging right from the start, too. Yeah, I was happy to have the rain, you know. I started sixth, and uh, at that point I was second. But uh, the track started to be dry, so we, we came on the pit, changed tower. Uh, you know what? We have a pretty good race. We, we did our best. We finished third. I know we won the win, but for a Dodge Mopar Penzo car, was uh, pretty good to, today, and uh, I'm proud of them. They did a really good pit stop, and uh, at the end, you know, I was just trying to save my stuff up just in case uh, green, white, checker, or something that will happen. But uh, no, no caution today. So uh, anyway, it's a good third finish for us, and uh, very happy for my team. In the air. Frank Beguet from Total Courts on the podium with Kevin Lacroix, the driver he sponsors, who also won his race, the Total Courts 200. And that's got to be a good feeling, winning your sponsor's race. Taking a look at the points, Kevin Lacroix only gains 10 points back in Alex LeBay. That 10-point penalty he got at Riverside looks huge now. He'd be within 16 without that penalty, Dave. Lapsovich and Kennington still with an outside chance at a win. 
And now, the champagne here on the podium at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And Dave, we've got two oval races to close out the 17th season. This NASCAR on TSN telecast has been brought to you by Leland Industries, a proud Canadian fastener company. By E3 Spark Plugs, born to burn. And by Honey Goo from Clean Flow, one honey of a loop. Next week, we head to Cena's Dash Quebec for the flattest racetrack on the planet. A tight bull ring of an oval. It will be rough. It will be tumble. A big difference from what we saw here. Kevin LaCroix, your winner here at CTMP.